Dear Americans, is it true that Russians are our brothers and sisters? Let us delve into the Indo-European dictionary and let us find out about it. Today we are going to discuss about the root aig and the nasal form ing, which means dispirited, sick and ill. We have in Latin aeger, aegra, aegrum, agrotus, which means unwell, sick, diseased, suffering and feeble. We have old nose, aiken, which means dismayed, wild, furious. We have Old English, akol, excited, dismayed. We have also the Norse version, eikla, eikla, continually with attacks, contradictions, assertions and torment. From Norse we have also eikian, which means argumentative. We have Tokarian B, which is an extinct language. And we have the word aikare, which is very similar to Latin aegro. And we also have the second version of Tokarian, Tokarian A, and it's different a little bit from Tokarian B. And we have the version ekro, which means ill. In Baltic language, we have the nasal version ing. In Lithuanian, we have the word ingis, which means idler. Ingas and angus, which means sluggish. We have in Latvian ixtu, igt, to have internal pain, to be sullen, and to be morose. Ignet, to be disgusted. Ignis, to be sullen, to be a sullen person. Also, we have Lithuanian engti, choke, torment. And we have the old Slavic version, jenza, which means illness. And then this word developed in uh, Slovenian, we have jeza, rage. In Polish, we have jenza, fury and witch, which means a sullen person, a sullen woman. In Czech language, we have jezinka, which means forest woman, witch. And finally, in Russian, we have baba yaga, which is witch in Russian. We have Old Icelandic, ekki, pain, grief. We have Old English, inka, pain, suspicion, quarrel. We have Old Frisian, ink, which means angry. And we have the new English version, inkel, anticipate, foresee. And finally, inkling, whispering, notion, indication and sign. So as you can see, dear Americans, Russians and Slavic people, Latin people, Albanian people, Greek people, German people are all the same. They come from the same root and they spoke one single language, the Indo-European language. So, ultimately, we are all brothers and sisters. Thank you very much for your attention and be tuned for more interesting movies in the future.